you have to be able to figure out, okay, I have 20 minutes to make breakfast. How can I make breakfast in 20 minutes? What's up guys, this is IFB Pro Santi Aragon and I'm here with Muscle and Strength and what I'm gonna show you is my typical off-season breakfast. You don't have an excuse to not be able to come up with a healthy breakfast that's fast and convenient and that gets your day going. In the off-season, I try to incorporate a lot of things that I don't usually eat just not only to get the calories a little bit higher, you gotta enjoy yourself with some of the food that you're gonna be eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this off. I'm gonna spray this with some Pam. Also, depending on the phase of my diet, I may not even use Pam. I may actually use something like uh, coconut oil or even olive oil, depending on how much fat content my meal actually needs. So here we go. Very simply done. We're gonna throw, this is 14 ounces of egg whites. In the meantime, we're gonna set up our oats over here. So I like to put just a little bit, I don't measure. Again, this is the off season, I don't really measure too many things. Uh, this is not one of them. I just put a little bit of almond milk. I dump my one cup of berries in there. It's gonna be some raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. I just put a little bit in there, and I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for two minutes. So pre-contest, I will change the almond milk for regular water. It sounds extremely boring, but hey, 30 calories uh, builds up over time, so. At this point right now, I'm just gonna, again, I'm not gonna measure anything, I'm just gonna eyeball a little bit of the fat-free cheese in there. And the mozzarella and the cheddar are my favorite. Today we're gonna be using some mozzarella. I turn off the pan and what I'll do is I'll just flip everything just one time just so that the cheese can melt. And if you notice, I have not yet seasoned any of this. I haven't put any salt, I haven't put any pepper on it. When you make eggs, you actually don't wanna put salt on it too early, because it'll change not only the texture, it'll dry out the eggs, but it'll make them kind of like a brownish color. And I've seen this over time, you know, making eggs so often that you wanna season it after it's on your plate. And as you can see, I do not, I do not go light on the salt. I do believe in high salt intake. It keeps my muscles nice and full all the time. So I don't have this like flat look. Um, you see a lot, a lot of trainers, they preach about sodium and it's completely true. So when you're on a low carbohydrate diet, you wanna keep your salt intake as high as possible and your fluid intake. And what that'll do is that'll at least help you keep your muscles as plump as possible when you're supposed to be flat. All right, let's get the oats. Seems like everything is done. So I'll put in a little bit of Smucker's in there just to keep it, uh, keep it a little bit more moist than, than it was. So if this is too sweet for you, another secret that I do is I bring out more salt and I actually salt my oats. And this, in my opinion, enhances the flavor a lot, especially if it's overly sweet you could tone down the sweetness with a little bit of salt. I work a lot, all right? And you have to make sure that not only are you getting a breakfast that has everything that you need. I got my fruits for antioxidants. I got my oats for, for my carbohydrates. I got my eggs for protein. I got my little bit of cheese just so that I can feel like a normal human. And uh, I got my coffee and, and we probably knocked this breakfast out and I would say, what, eight minutes? So there, everybody has eight minutes in their lives. There, you don't have an excuse to not be able to come up with a healthy breakfast that's fast and convenient and that gets your day going. 